Hello and welcome to Deep Tooth Academy. It's another time that we are going to be having fun with mathematics. And today, what we'll be looking at is the process of solving simultaneous equations in two variables with the scientific calculator. Particularly, I'll be using the FX991 EX scientific calculator. I have the emulator here. You can bring out your own hardware. But before we go ahead, generally, we need to understand what is the general format of our simultaneous equations in two variables now the general format if you are very observant the general format is telling us that um, the coefficient of x and x plus the coefficient of y and y is giving us a constant c which we can represent as a n x plus b n y is c n now for the simultaneous equations in two variables our n is only going to be one and two um, so our n are positive integers one and two and if we are going to be looking at that, we'll see that the general format will be A1x plus B1y is C1 and A2x plus B2y is C2. Now, since this is the general format that we have, we can easily relate it with our questions that we are asked to solve, like this first question now. We can see that 3, 2, 3 and 2 are the coefficient of x and y in the first equation and 8 and 3 are the coefficient of x and y in the second equation. This directly relates to what we're having as a1, b1, and c1. So a1 will be 3, b1 will be 2, c1 is 24, a2 will be 8, b2 will be 3, and c2 will be 50. These are the parameters that we need to input into our scientific calculator that can help us to easily solve this question. So you can bring up our calculator here, and as you are looking at the calculator, we're in the normal calculation mode, but we need to go to the equation mode. So pressing mode type of, you can see equation is denoted in 5. So we go and we press 5. And then the very first format corresponds to our type of equation. So we press 1. And here we're having rows and columns set up for us to input our values. A1 will be corresponding to 3. And B1 will be corresponding to 2. While C1 will be corresponding to 24. And moving on from there, you can see that A2 will correspond to 8. And then B2 will correspond to 3. While C2 will correspond to 50. After you have done it, it is a good um, process to always check is there any problem with what you have input. And after confirming is okay, all you need to press is equal to. And your X is given as 4. And Y is given as 6. Easily, you can input the value to check. Um, 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 6 is also 12. 12 plus 12 will give us 24. You can also check with the second equation. But you can see how easy, how simple it is to use your calculator, the scientific calculator to be specific, to solve for simultaneous equations in two variables. Now, looking at this second question, um, before you want to go ahead, you, want to, you will see that the Values I will just input are still there, but you can press AC to clear that or go back to your mode to the normal setup, then go to the mode, put in 5 to operate to the equation and 1 to go to the format where we'll be using to solve our question. And here, if we are looking at the question number 2, we can see that our A1, B1, and C1, and the other one for the second equation are easily noticeable can see here the coefficient of x and y and the constant all are the values that we are going to be inputting to our calculator and here a1 will be 1 b1 is 1 c1 is 6 and a2 is 1 b2 is 7 and c2 is 30 again you need to check are all the values correct and if you are okay solve for it press equal to and you see that the values for x and y are easily given to be x is 2 and y equals to 4. Again, you can check by inputting the value 2 plus 4 is 6 and um, 2 plus 7 times 4, which is 2 plus 28 is 30. Now, this third equation, what you need to note is that our B2 is not 3. Looking at the question, B2 is minus 3, not 3. So that's what we need to input into our calculator when we are working and our work is easily solvable 
by the time we put in minus 3. And so going back, let's clear our values and return them to 0. And now we can see our A1 is 1, our B1 is 1, our C1 is 8. And then our A2 is 1, our B2 is minus 3, minus 3, not 3. And then our C2 is 4. And checking for all the values for any error. Once you are clear, there is no error. Press equal to, and you have x1 is 7, and y1 is 1. So, you can also check that 7 plus 1, that will give us 8. And then 7 minus 3 times 1, is 7 minus 3, which is 4. Now, that is as simple as it gets. What I want you to do is practice as much as possible. It can give you a lot of ease in solving your questions. Until we meet next time, stay blessed. Keep on practicing. You can be the best in mathematics. God bless you.